I felt it a humiliation that they were now throwing the so-called small state prize at my head, but I didn't want to make a scene, and my brother had succeeded in convincing me that the right thing to do was to accept the prize without protest. So now I had to go to this very ministry and allow these very people to hang a prize on me when I heartily despised both them and it. I had sworn never again to set foot in a ministry in which only dull wittedness and hypocrisy reigned. But now I was in this straitjacket my brother had stuck me in. Several newspapers had played up the announcement that I was getting the prize as if it were the big prize, while it was to me the humiliating small prize. I choked on this fact and went around for weeks with this choking in my throat. Bernhardt died in um, 1989 and he was Austria's enfant terrible, it's um, Austria's lord of misrule. He was a prolific novelist, he, he, he wrote 12, 12 novels as well as kind of um, um, works, of, uh, works of memoir and was loaded with prizes for everything he wrote. And, um, but the extraordinary sort of, um, the, uh, the extraordinary sort of problem with all the comedy around, um, around Bernhard is that he wrote against Austria. In fact, he wrote against everything. His writing is a slightly unhinged, semi-hysterical rant against, against humanity, against Austria, against the demise of culture, against bourgeois life. And it's a sort of breathless rant. And the only way that the Austrians can sort of cope with it is by giving him a prize for each book. The most important thing to know about Bernhardt's life is that he lived in death. He, 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 he had a, a lung condition all his life and, um, and he eventually di died from it. And so he was someone who was permanently aware of death. He was the illegitimate, uh, illegitimate son of um, a housemaid. He, he didn't know his father. His father actually, um, um, he believed, committed suicide. Bernhard was obsessed with suicide. He was raised by his grandfather who was also obsessed with suicide and used to instill in Bernhardt as a little boy, you know, the, the importance of killing yourself at some stage in, in, in life. It would be noble to do that. And so, I mean, Bernhardt was a, a very much a kind of um, a self-educated, self-invented Austrian product. And um, he didn't marry, he didn't have children. He set himself up with this much older woman, 37 years older than him in the year that his mother died and had a very close and committed relationship to her. He's an odd bod. And, um, and he wrote and wrote and wrote. Bernhard um, won um, the nine most prestigious prizes he, he could win in, um, in Austria and Germany. And, um, and he gives an account of each ceremony. And the account is, um, is farcical. It's this kind of theatre. Each, each prize ceremony is a theatre with an audience and a villain and a fool and a hero and a soliloquy. And it's just, it's, it's sort of one wonderfully drawn bit of comedy. He sees prize culture as as hypocritical and himself as the worst hypocrite for accepting the prizes. And this is why the book is, this is where the book becomes really complicated because he loathes himself for accepting prize after prize after prize. And um, he, uh, he loathes the judges. He thinks the judges haven't got any taste anyway. You know, what, what, <laughs> how dare they judge his work? You know, what do they know about him or his work? I mean, they know nothing about, he calls them so-called prizes and so-called judges and so-called art and culture. What do, what do they know about it? And so he, um, he, th he thinks prize culture is a way of the state sanctioning art and he writes against the state and he says that you know he he doesn't he despises writers who who suckle at the at, at the nipple of the state and he says this is what he doesn't want to do but in fact is what he does do because he says he accept in the end he accepts all these prizes because there's so much money bernhardt is um he's relentless read and he's embarrassing I think what, what I found with, um, with um, my prizes is that I was wincing with embarrassment reading it. And I think this is the reason it, um, it wasn't published for 30 years, because even his publishers were embarrassed. And so here we have a writer who is licensed to say the unacceptable. Here we have a writer who's sort of a, whose role is to, um, to embarrass and to expose the... Um, the, the state and the way in which the state controls culture. And he, even he's gone 
too far here. And even Bernhardt's fans can't deal with, with my prizes. I mean, when the, when the reviews came out, when it was published in America last year, um, the reviews were terribly cautious. I'm like, oh gosh, not quite, not quite sure what to do with this because we're so reverential about prize culture. This is Bernhardt having gone too far. But I think where, where he goes too far is he takes away the seriousness of it by making prize culture into a comedy rather than a very, very earnest, self-important, um, self-congratulatory performance. He, he makes it look ridiculous and, and he's, embarrassed, he's embarrassed everyone except himself. It's an uncategorizable book and, and, and it's absolutely perfect for Notting Hill editions in, in, in that sense. I don't know where you'd put it in a bookshop, except that, you know, it's now found a place as, as an essay, which is exactly what it is. It's a little contained time bomb and the writing's much tighter than Bernhard's writing usually is. And it, I mean, it's fantastically provocative and suggestive and relevant exactly in the way that um, the, the essays should be. And um, I think this is, what, this is what I like about it so much. It's, uh, it's brevity and its sharpness and its wit and its complete strangeness as a, as a piece of writing.